The civil war in Syria is raising the threat of terrorism and of harm to social cohesion here in Singapore. Deputy Prime Minister and Home Affairs Minister Teo Chi Hien painted this sobering picture in Parliament today. He revealed that a handful of Singaporeans have gone to Syria to take part in the conflict. The Syrian conflict is into its third year. It's a security concern for many countries, including Singapore. As many as 12,000 foreigners may have already gone to fight in Syria, and the number is growing. A handful of Singaporeans have joined in the conflict too. One of them is Haja Fakhruddin Osman Ali, a naturalized Singapore citizen of Indian origin. He brought his wife and three children, then aged between two and 11 with him. Another female Singaporean is believed to have gone to Syria with her foreign husband and two teenaged children. The whole family is taking part in the conflict in various ways, either fighting in the terrorist groups or providing aid and support to the fighters. Several others had intended to travel to Syria but were detected before they could proceed with plans. There are others who have expressed interest to join in the fight and are currently under investigation. Mr Teo said the flow of foreign fighters into Syria poses a threat to Singapore as there are parallels between the current crisis and the Soviet-Afghan war in the 1980s. That war drew thousands of foreign fighters and led to the creation of Al-Qaeda. The Al-Qaeda, through Southeast Asian terror group Jama'a Islamiyah, had planned attacks on Singapore. The foreign fighters in Syria may similarly return from the conflict proficient in terrorist skills. They may undertake terrorist activities in their home countries or overseas, or at the very least, provide logistical and operational help to terrorists whom they befriended in Syria. This has already happened. Madam Speaker, this has already happened. UK and French nationals who returned from fighting in Syria have already targeted central London and the French Riviera, respectively. There have also been examples of foreign fighters who have travelled to Syria via Singapore. And extremists from neighbouring countries like Indonesia and Malaysia trained in Syria. Then there's the impact on social cohesion, as seen in what happened after Singaporean GI members were discovered. If we find more Singaporeans fighting <coughs> or supporting the fighting in Syria, or harbouring intentions of doing so, it will cause disquiet on the ground and mistrust and tension between our communities. The challenge, said Mr Teo, is to counter the radical propaganda and this is where religious and community groups step in. Now He added that the internet has also been a real game changer for the Syrian conflict with many recruited as militants because of what they read and see online. Some foreigners have been lured by the sense of adventure marketed by the extremists online. Others are attracted by the jihad cool factor with selfies of fighters posing with their weapons. Mr Teo said Singaporeans who wish to help can give humanitarian aid, but he said they should check with the Islamic Religious Council first on which are the local organisations to turn to. Mr Teo will meet religious leaders from various faiths on Thursday to discuss the issue so that the community can tackle any potential fallout together.